video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. Hey everyone, Chrissy here with Two Sheep, One Wheat. And today I have an overview and a review for you on Space Kraken. Let's get to it. So this isn't my typical game that I review for you guys, but I have never played an RPG game before, so I wanted to try it out and see what all the hype was about. So this game is solo, but there's an option for one to four players so that you can enjoy it with your friends. Um, for this game, what you need is a D20, and you need two D6s and a pencil with an eraser because you need to erase it if you want to replay it. So anyways, let's jump into all the different sections in the book and we'll go over it. So first of all, this is just a demo version of this game. It is on Kickstarter right now for the next, I think, three days as of posting this video. So I'll post all the links down in the bottom for you guys. So there's a little teaser here. It'll feature everything, how to play and things like that. Um, how to prepare the book, getting started, everything that is required for it. It also gives you an index down here so that you can find whatever you're looking for. It goes into depth about the story behind everything. Uh, it's quite a nice story. So this is kind of where you start your game. You're going to choose one of the following options. Um, we played with the early settlers just because that's um, recommended for beginners right here. Um, so this is basically, it's just regular settler ship started before the atomic war on Earth. Um, and then it goes into depth what kind of items and weapons that you get for each of your crew members, which is at the end. Now, before you can go on to figure out what you're doing in the game and everything like that, we'll just kind of jump all the way to the back. Here you have your spaceship. And because this is the demo one, you only it only comes with one spaceship right now. Uh, there are two sections here for your crew. So because of the one that we chose, we get three crew members here. And these ones do start off with things. Um, but there are other ones that you could, like, if you wanted to, you could just not use any of these. But because this was my first one, this is what I chose to use, just whatever it had already listed on here. So you go ahead and you can write everything on there and then this kind of gets left open so that when you're going back and forth between things, you can kind of keep this open and keep track of what's going on. Now base what you picked for your spaceship, um, whenever you're starting out with your spaceship, you are awarded 30 credits and you can go ahead and pick between any of these right here to upgrade your crew or upgrade your ship. And then with whatever's left over that you choose, you can also upgrade your crew members and add their benefit to them hopefully adding some life and some skills so that they don't die because of the Kraken. So the rules in this game go into depth, skills, weapons, and rules. So because this is a demo version of this, it does not come with any of these tabs. Um, I just simply wrote them out and added them myself. Um, I think in the Kickstarter, there's going to be something, there's going to be a whole bunch of different things added in the Kickstarter. So again, check out that link that I have down below to go check out the Kickstarter and see what everything comes with. So there are, like I was saying, a whole bunch of rules. It goes into depth and you will know exactly how to play this game. There's just a whole bunch of them. It goes every over everything that you need to learn and do within the game and it'll tell you how to get started and how to even start a new game. So once you have all this completed and everything like that, that is when you would go into setting up your lines and everything like that. This goes into how and what about your storylines and why you're using them, how you're using them and everything like that. So you're basically just choosing one line in each of these four columns here. And what you're going to do is then set it up right in here for each line that you chose, line one, line two, three, and four. And you're going to pick which line. Oops. You're going to be choosing which it's a number and two letters. So you're going to be choosing that to place in here. And then what you're doing, you're going to go to the CGM list over here. So let's just say line one. There's a lot of opening and closing in this book because of all of the different pages and everything. So let's just say line one is one CD. You're going to open this up and you're going to go to one and you're going to go to CD. And there's an exclamation mark, A and AJ. Now that exclamation mark 
means that it is an event. So you want to go, so you want to go to AG and AG is here. So it'll give you a little descriptive um, what's going on. It'll give you, because this is an event, you can tell because it is an exclamation mark. So in the event, it's gonna give you a choice and then you're gonna go back because it corresponds with what is um, to the right of it. So A and B, you get to choose whichever one that you wanna do, whichever one you pick, this is 3NN, this is 2RH. So you're gonna go either to the 3NN or you're gonna go down here to 2RH, whichever you decide, that is what you put right next to it. And then you keep going. So this is kind of how the line tracker and everything works. So now you have your ship all filled in with everything that you have paid for, all the upgrades and for your crew as well. Everything is written on there. You have set up all of your lines and you've gone through that so you know your story for the game that you're about to start. The next thing that you need to do is select a location. So you're gonna jump into the location generator down here and you're gonna be rolling your D6s and this is going to figure out where your location is. So you would go ahead and just select the map one and you would start rolling your dice and five would be in space. The game that I chose that I rolled last time was on the surface, which would have been a number two. So you go ahead and select that on maps. You're gonna go into your difficulty. So for your difficulty number, you before you set everything up like that, um, you actually go to this sheet right here and it'll give you options on what type of difficulty that you wanna select and choose. And you can go through that. Sometimes you have to add some numbers up. This one over here is difficulty that adds plus two. So whatever your number is that you come up with based off of what you decide on your difficulty level, that is what you're going to be selecting and and adding right here and then you're gonna go on to the atmosphere outside you will roll that this is a one so there is atmosphere outside for this roll we rolled a no last time and then you're gonna go into the atmosphere inside if there is any this one is a three this so there is no atmosphere inside so once you read through the rules, depending on what you roll, you'll start to figure out if there, what you have to do whenever there's no atmosphere inside, no atmosphere inside, or whether there is based on the planet that you're going to visit. So then you would roll for depth. And this one is a one. So you're going to add three to this. So that would be four. So your depth are these numbers down here. Last time I rolled a, I got a five. So I rolled a two last time. And these are just the sections for the maps that you're going to be visiting on the planet. And then you go on to the teleport range. You're going to be rolling two D6s for this. So a six and a four. And it says a result of 10 and above can be noted as nine. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So once you figure out your depth and how many maps you're gonna be visiting this round, then you get to roll two D6s. So this is, and you can pick whichever way you want. So this one would be a J, and then you would mark it in the first slot here. This one is a four and a two, so a T add it to the second slot, and so on up to the number of depth that you rolled. Then you go into the special here and you roll one. This one is a three, so there would be nothing special added to this. Then you would roll one more for the race. This is a three, so insectoids. What did I get last time? The beasts. So these right here are the enemies that are on the planets that you're gonna be visiting. So all of these get cut out and then just whenever you go to visit the maps, which I'll show you right away, um, based off of any interactions that you might have with an enemy, this is where you're gonna be selecting it and coming to. So there's the Kraken and all of these. This one is another Kraken, different ones coming out. And then more Kraken, these are grays. Whole bunch of grays. There's Here's the insectoid. So the planets that we're gonna be visiting or the planet that we're gonna be visiting, um, these are the uh, enemies that are on that planet. So anytime that we come in contact with an enemy, this is where we will be coming. So let's go to, I think maps is right here. So now we are, 
let's just say that we are going by the on space one because I can't remember, or on the surface, I can't remember what I rolled. So whenever you get to the planet here, we'll select F because that was the first planet that we would visit on the surface. So moving into the planet, you can use any of your characters here and everything is listed right here on the legend what all of these different colors all of these different cubes do the black is uh, unpassable wall and the e is an enemy and it shows one so then you can go back to your enemies and then i know we're not doing the beasts here but then you can go and select the experience that's five this one should be one you go by that because I'll zoom in here so you can see it E1 so that means the experience would be a one on the enemy so that would be who you're fighting so you complete that map and whenever we rolled for depth that gave us the number of maps that you have to visit on that surf or on that uh, island <sighs> on that planet and once you've completed that then that would be the end for that section that you are doing. So I only touched on a couple of pages so I'll go through some more that I haven't touched on. Um, we saw the CGM sheet right here which is pretty nifty. There are a whole bunch of different events based off of what is on that uh, list over there. Um, we touched on this here too for the generator. Um, this right here is the command. So like I said, the exclamation mark meant that there was an event and that's when you had to go into the event to figure out what you're doing. These are all of the enemies. Um, it is added right here, just a quick sheet. So you can keep a sheet in here to kind of keep track of what's going on and everything like that. There is a quick sheet um, for the combat that they added also. So it's kind of like a legend. It'll tell you everything that you need to know instead of having to go back into the rules to figure out how to do something. There are all of these different um, enemies here that you can see. Um, there are three pages on each with some neat artwork, artwork on them too. Um, all of them are different too. So you have two of each based off of the experience level on them too. And again, all of the characters are all different for each and every one of them. These ones are pretty cool. Scary looking, but cool. This one almost looks like a scorpion and mosquito hybrid. And they're all different colors too. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I enjoy that everything gets cut out too. You just have to cut them out so that whenever you're dealing with them, again, like all this gets stayed open. If you're fighting with a, an enemy, you can keep that open too. And until you're done battling them and then you can close them up again and everything like that. And everything that you need is literally in this book. Of course, except the pencil and the three dice that you need. Okay, so those are all the enemies and all the different characters that go along with the, that specific type. So then we go on to the skills. Now the skills are your hero skills. Um, you can add some whenever you, uh, you start off with the 30 credits and based off of what you upgrade on your ship, then you can add some extra skills here for your characters. And they all come with different credits to buy them and everything like that with a nice little backstory. So you kind of have a feel for the character whenever you're playing with them. And here's all the achievements that you can do whenever you go into a combat with one of these creatures here and if you win the battle, it'll tell you uh, the specials here, right there. And then you can go in here and see if it was a weapon or some kind of item that you got for winning that battle. And then again, I said that the rules are pretty in depth. There's a couple, a couple of pages for the rules. It will take you a little while to get through them all. And again, all the legends for the maps and everything because there are a few maps. So whenever you're rolling the D6 at the beginning, that is when you're choosing what type of planet that you're gonna be visiting. So this one's space station, on the surface, you're going to the dungeon, mining station, in space core planet, everything like that. And then here is your quest map. 
And this is kind of what I went over for whenever you are going into battle with a different creature on said planet and everything like that. So you're diff discovering different things. There's rewards, penalties, and here are all the rules for combat. So again, you do not have to go in back into the rule pages. Everything that has to do with anything that you're doing for the combat or setting everything up to play your first game, everything is right in there as a as like a legend for you. So this is how you track the combat sheet and this is, you're just writing everything down. Everything of course is right here and it'll tell you how to use this page when you're going into combat. And you can open it up like this and everything is color coded for you so you know what to do. And of course it gives you this again. This is what you're doing at the beginning on how to um, figure out your O2 level and how much shield you have for your characters. Look at this artwork. This is pretty nice too. So, and then everything gets cut out. You have room for a fourth character and these are all the extra other characters that you can have too. These ones are a little bit less filled out. And then your spaceship with room to write any of your notes, maybe from when you left off and the end cover. So my review for this RPG book is going to be based off of, um, for people who have never played any books or any RPG games or anything of the sorts, same as me. So that is where my point of view is coming for this review. Um, I will say reading the rules took a few hours just to understand everything that was going on. There were a bunch of videos that needed to be watched just to make sure that I understood everything that was going on. So anybody who's starting out with RPG and perhaps um, is kickstarting this game, just be prepared that the number of pages for the rule books will take you a couple hours just to read and fully understand. Now there is a little bit to this book. Obviously there is a nice backstory that goes into depth about everything that you would need to know and all your characters, anybody who you're picking to go into battle um, with your ship and everything like that, it goes into detail about everything. So you have a vivid image in your head of what is going on and what kind of get a feel for the characters and everything like that, right? You understand what's going on. You're visiting the planets. You are um, going into combat with the specific enemies that are on that specific planet. So once you read through the rule books and perhaps watch a few videos, hopefully this one, you kind of get an understanding of what's going on in the game. And it looks overwhelming because of how many pages there are. But honestly, once you get through everything, it's quite simple. You set up your ship, you get through your characters, you try to figure out your backstory for your crew, your ship, and go through all of the planets that you're supposed to visit, which characters or which enemies are on there. And then you visit the map that you're supposed to and you go into combat. And you complete that, you gain benefits, points, you gain items, things like that. So the gist of it is pretty simple to understand. It's very neat how this game is just a simple book. You can bring it anywhere with you and play. I mean, you're going to need a little bit of table space because as you can see here from the video, it takes up the whole table. A few dice and a pencil is all you need. You can erase it. Replayability is great in this game because of all the different possibilities that you can go through. And well, this one anyway, the demo copy, you would need to erase your markings with your pencil. Um, again, check out that Kickstarter link down below. Anyway, I wanted to go through this and explain to people who haven't played an RPG before the process of learning this game. It is possible to learn an RPG if you've never done it before. It will take you some time, but once you get started and understand everything, it'll go by very quickly and I'm sure that you would enjoy this game. So I hope you enjoyed this overview and review on Space Kraken and hopefully I'll catch you next time. Wait, what? What is happening? What is happening? I don't understand this.